Meet the DGX Spark by NVIDIA, a personal AI supercomputer built to put serious compute power on your desk. Purpose built from the ground up for AI researchers, developers and data scientists who need real horsepower but also local control, this thing comes with the same DGX software stack used in large-scale systems. That means we can prototype, fine-tune and deploy models right here. This is powered by the NVIDIA GB10 Grace Blackwell Superchip, essentially an ARM CPU and a Blackwell GPU fused together with 128 gigs of unified coherent memory. What that means is your data doesn't need to shuttle back and forth between the CPU and the GPU. All of DeepSeq R1, for example, with its 70 billion parameters, can sit just in one system. In fact, you could even connect two DGX Spark systems to enable inference on even larger models, such as Llama 3.1 with up to 405 billion parameters. See right there, right there this product addresses the limitations of local workflows. In short, the GB10 features the latest generation Blackwell GPU, which includes the latest generation CUDA and RT cores, all of which is scaled to fit on a desk instead of a data center rack. It's pretty cool. Where the DGX Spark really shines is in how it's used. Time to check out some examples. So a good place to start is um, build.nvidia.com slash spark. This is full of resources that NVIDIA have pulled together specifically for developers on this system. And on the right, we've got some useful links, especially for first timers. So VS Code is a super common tool. Likewise, if you wanted to monitor your DGX system, you've got the dashboard. Comfy UI is another thing that I use quite often for uh, generating images just because it's just a far more user-friendly experience. Some of the playbooks that immediately caught my eye are the fine-tuning Flux, as well as NIM on Spark. And deploying a NIM on Spark is going to be one of those fundamental workflows that uh, everyone's going to want to get into. And up at the top, I like to go into models and just explore what's available. There are literally dozens upon dozens of models here. And there's some popular models here like Stable Diffusion, Flux, and another use case that's quite fun is speech to animation. Now, if you've followed NVIDIA's software releases over the years. Audio to face is something that's been integrated to Omniverse, um, as well as sort of standalone AI applications. And she usually you rushes here, to push the garage door the mouth closed. is animated door. With, the, um, with the audio sample. So let me filter by weather simulation. I thought this was pretty cool for schools and um, education in general. Um, so now, with this uh, simulation up, I can check out the weather patterns across this globe and even scroll through however many hours to see how those weather patterns change. When you have all of these examples available, you can get a flavor for some of the use cases up front and what might be useful in your development for your goals, and then download them and run them locally on your DGX Spark. So these blueprints are also really helpful. They've nicely curated a whole bunch of your enterprise use case driven blueprints that get you up and running pretty quickly. And then examples from developers, right? Interactive tutorials and, and patterns to help you bootstrap your AI development. And it looks pretty extensive too. In another video, I'm going to apply some of these resources directly into my workflows. Basically, DGX Spark mirrors the same software architecture that powers industrial strength AI factories. It runs NVIDIA DGX OS with Ubuntu Linux and comes pre-configured with the latest NVIDIA AI software stack. Stuff like CUDA, QDNN, Rapids, TensorRT, PyTorch. So developers can just crack on with the tools they're used to. So, is the NVIDIA DGX Spark for you? Well, let's see, it's practical, it fits on your desk, it's accessible, kind of the entry point into NVIDIA's flagship ecosystem, and it's scalable. The stuff you build here will work with the whole ecosystem. And what's more, it's portable, ideal for hybrid, offline, or clearly on-prem workflows. In short, it's a supercomputer, right? That fits into your work. If you're a researcher, software engineer, or data scientist that wants DGX-level performance without building a data center, it's a no-brainer.